Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install the clutch pedal stopper. So you want to start off with placing that on the pedal. Then you're going to take your hardware that we supply on the kit and you want to hand tighten it. You don't want to tighten it yet because you want to adjust the height where you want it to be able to hit in the direction you want to go. So this is why I mean by leave it loose. You don't want to tighten the hardware yet for the simple fact. You want to adjust it to where you want to hit. So let's say if I just play with the pedal with my hand. So if I wanted to hit right on that direction, so I'm going to take this now and I'm going to tighten the back of the bracket here. You don't have to extremely tighten this, just enough snug where you know it's not going to get loose on you. Now that I have that tightened and I know it's hitting the sweet spot right there, I'm going to leave that right there. So how does this work? The way this works is that what first thing you want to do is adjust your clutch master slave cylinder to a higher point, meaning up higher, but still leave a gap because if you put it too tight, that means your throttle bearing is going to rest on top of the diaphragm and you don't want to do that. That's going to damage the diaphragm and the throttle bearing. So what you want to do is bring it up high. You're going to leave this with a little gap once you are done. Now what you're going to do, let's say if I adjust the clutch pedal to where about right here, let's say is able to go into gear or disengaging the disc. Now from that point on, you only want to travel one inch before it hits the firewall. Once it hits the firewall, then you're good. That means you have this set in a good position. Now again, if you mount it in, if it's too close, you can always adjust it from here. You know what I mean? You can just loosen the nut, go in, go out, whatever you like. Once that's done, you're going to get a 13. You're going to tighten that or a half inch once that's all done. And then you can uh, tighten it. You know what I mean? But if it's not ready, then I don't recommend you to do it. Leave that loose until you have everything properly adjusted. And that's that. And one important more, you know, thing that I want to mention on this video when you do adjust the clutch pedal height, remember, if you have to put your clutch all the way down to start the vehicle, I'm going to show you how to adjust that so the car will still start. All right, so on the pedal, you have this switch here. What this switch does every time you push down the pedal, it does contact back here so you'll be able to start the car. So if I told you to adjust this to a high point and this is stopping you, from reaching that to hit this switch, all you have to do is loosen up the 17. Your car might be a different size bolt. You loosen the 17 and you travel in more. So when you travel in more, you tighten it back up and now you're able, when you push down, your car will start. All right, so now that I show you that part of how to start the car, if you're having any problems because now this is hitting the firewall too soon before it does contact, on the safety switch you have there, you know how to do that as well. Understand the reason why we designed this because a lot of people was damaging the diaphragm, the clutch master slave cylinder, the throttle bearing, and even the thrust washer in the engine. So this is why this was designed. So again, I'm gonna show you this one more time. Let's say if you push down that much, you're able to go into gear. Or let's say you have a twinders and you hear the floaters like tingling, that means now, you at your disengagement point right there. That means you shouldn't travel no more than an inch or an inch before you hit the firewall. It's a very simple installation. Any questions, just ask.